Hey everybody, this is Brett, and you know, for years I've wondered, what's that glue made of that they're sticking the stickers onto the produce with, you know? And like, would that make a person sick if they ate it, or how much toxicity is involved with that glue? And then I thought, you know, I'm not going to find out by ingesting this, I'll just cut it off and throw it away. Someday I'll look it up. Today is that day, because like I was at the produce section last night in Green Life, which is owned by Whole Foods, and um, we were get, talking. I was talking to the produce guy and this girl that was standing next to us, and we're talking about this subject. And she said that this has been a big thing on uh, Facebook the last couple of days. So today I decided to look it up to see what was acceptable. I guess you might say to the FDA <clears throat> and oh and bear in mind that they distinguish not they do not distinguish between whether it's organic or not there is no difference so both are acceptable here okay so trisodium a uh, corrosive when ingested turpentine completely toxic when ingested urea formaldehyde resins rapid absorption extremely toxic Styrene malleic andrihyde, andrihyde. <laughs> non-surgical method of male sterilization. Oh, there you go. Petroleum, highly toxic when ingested. Synthetic paraffin, toxic when ingested. Xylene, in higher levels, xylene can cause progressive inhibition of nervous system function, culminating in coma, respiratory de depression, and ultimately death from central cerebral anorexia. There is a danger also of, come on, focus, threatening cardiac arrhythmia. <laughs> Zinc ammonium chloride. It is a class 9 hazardous material according to the US DOT used in galvanizing steel. Zinc dibenzyl di Ditho, this is going to be a, a challenge for me here. Dithicarbonate. Uh, this is a rubber accelerator which may cause skin and respiratory issues. Zinc dibu. Nah, forget it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Basically, you need to protect yourself. And if you don't know this already, you live in a world of idiocy. And in order for you to stay natural, you have to protect yourself and use your head. Keep watching my videos. <laughs> and um, you know, I'll look things up like this here and there and give you the skinny. So I uh, hope you're well and have a great day. Bye.